Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an empties video for you. It is not massive, but I really want to get rid of this stuff. So I thought I'd film it for you, go through what I would buy again, what I didn't like, etc. Um, like I said, not huge, but it's time to get rid of stuff. So I'll jump straight in and show you what I've used up recently. Okay, so first of all, we'll start with a vino because I'm an Aveeno freak. Um, I've got two different Aveeno products to show you. I've got, um, I've used up one of the Aveeno moisturising creams. This is just the big pump one. Um, I use this as like an everyday moisturiser. Best moisturiser in the world if you have eczema or severely dry skin or sensitive skin, whatever. Try this, it's amazing. And then I discovered this product, which is the Aveeno oil. This is the bath and shower oil, which you use to wash, basically. It's a soap. It doesn't have sodium lauryl sulfate in it, or SLS, um, which most, probably like 90% of shampoos and conditioners and body washes have SLS in because they're the foaming agent, which makes it all bubbly. That is nice, but that dries your skin out really bad. So I've gone over to this Aveeno oil. It's about £8 a pot, but it is so good. Your skin feels silky smooth after the shower. I absolutely love this stuff. So I used up two of those. Also on the skin front, I've got, I've developed a bit of an addiction to this stuff. I have four empty bottles of it. It's ridiculous. I, I, I love it so much. I have, I'm going to show you one, but I have four of them, as you can see. And my fifth one is almost empty as well. Um, it's the Palmer's Coconut Oil Body Oil. Um, <clears throat> it has no parabens, no... I don't know what that word is, no mineral oil, no gluten, no sulfates and no dyes. It is natural coconut oil. It is so nourishing, honestly, if you've got really dry skin like me, this is so worth a go. It's cheaper than Aveeno, but the fact I go through it like it's water means it's not cheaper because I use so much of this stuff. But it's really nice for just like massaging in and it's just really lovely. It smells good, it goes on nicely. It's not, although it's oily, it, so it is a bit greasy, it's not mega, mega sticky greasy. It's, it's a nice feeling, I love this will forever repurchase it. I've also used up a Nivea body oil. This is the Q10 Plus Macadamia Nut Oil. I do like this, but I prefer the coconut oil. Um, if they didn't make that, I would have repurchased this, but I was just in the shop and that was on offer when I first discovered it. So I've gone over to the Palms one, but this is a nice product and I think that's about seven pounds for that size um, pot. Next, I've used up um, two little sample ones of the Philip B Forever Shine Mega Bounce Shampoo and Conditioner. Didn't do anything for me, wasn't that impressive. I think I washed my hair with it last time, like, because I only got one use out of these. It's shiny, but I wouldn't go crazy for it. No idea what these cost full size, but like I said, wouldn't be overly fussed about using these again. <clears throat> Have a pack of face wipes, just Garnier ones. Nothing really exciting to say about those. Carmex, this is the Strawberry Carmex, love this stuff, always have Carmex on the go, I've probably got five or six of these dotted around in handbags and coat pockets and whatever, absolutely love Carmex for the winter because my lips get super dry and especially wearing like matte liquid lipsticks and stuff, your lips dry out and it feels crappy and I love this stuff. Next I've used up a cuticle oil, this is only the Sally's own one, um, it smells like, I think it's melon, I can't remember, I'm going to open it. Um, yeah, it smells like melon. It's really, really nourishing for your cuticles. Great if you've got nail extensions on or whatever, just to rub into your cuticles at night time. Makes them really, like, nourished and stuff. To be honest, I, to, I tend to wipe it all over my hands just to moisturise my hands because my hands get so dry in the winter time. So I think that's only about £2 a bottle. On the subject of hands, I've got a little Helping Hands hand cream from Lush. This is just a little 10 gram sample. Um, I think I've washed it out because it started to go all hard and skanky. Oh no, I haven't quite washed out. I hate this. It's, I, what it does is really good. I love what it does, but it, I hate the smell of it. I can't even stomach it. Ooh. Um, and I keep thinking, oh, maybe it's not that bad. And I open it up again and I'm like, nah, I hate it. Don't like it at all. It's very, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a very false smell. Not a fan. I just couldn't stomach the smell, even though it's a good product. Then I have a Shaw Motion Sense deodorant. Not very exciting. Don't even remember if I liked it or not. Then I have a mini Batiste dry shampoo. 
I took this on a holiday with me and actually it was a godsend because having extensions in, I didn't want to have to wash my hair every day and um, actually this stuff was brilliant. I used it, well I used it all in the two weeks. Um, <clears throat> it's just air coming out of it now. Um, really light Batiste, it's a very good dry shampoo. Um, especially for the price point, drugstore wise, this is the best dry shampoo by a mile. Next up I have a Soap and Glory Archery Pencil. This is my favourite eyebrow pencil ever. It's completely out, I reckon I go through one of these every couple of months. It's my day to day eyebrow pencil. Love it, love it, will always love it. Nothing will beat this in my mind. I'm still looking for something that even rivals it, but this is amazing. I think this is about eight pounds, I believe. And the last thing I have to show you is this one. This is the Macadamia Oil, uh, Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. This is the biggest tub I think they do. It's the 500 gram tub. Um, oh, they might do a liter actually. Is it 500 grams? Mm, I don't even know how big this is. Oh, it's 500 mil. Um, they might do a litre one, I'm not sure, but this is really quite expensive. I think this is 30 something pound for the pot. Um, but it is the best hair mask I've ever used. It's great for like nourishing split ends. It's also really good for helping your hair grow because it seems to just really, really protect your hair and make it great condition. I love this product, would definitely repurchase it. Um, I haven't yet, but I do need to get another one. So yeah, thumbs up for this one. So that is everything I have to show you guys. It wasn't a massive empties, but I really wanted to clear out the bag because all of the pots were quite big, so I had to get rid of them all. Um, I hope you like this video. Any requests on what to film, pop them in the bottom bar down below. I've not really got any festive videos this year, so I do apologise, but I just haven't had any, I don't know, festive things to film about. I've not done any festive shopping, really. It's a bit rubbish, to be honest. Um, but yeah, any requests, pop them down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.